Well, three out of four parents in a new survey put out by Wallet Hub say schools are asking them to buy too much in preparation for the first day of class. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Pagiro caught up with parents and with students doing some back to school shopping and trying to save where they can. We still are less than three weeks before kids are back in classes, but some parents are already out shopping, looking to save where they can. The most expensive stuff is just because he's really tall, <laughs> is his clothes and his shoes. <laughs> um, so he grows really, really fast. Walmart is where Takia Moore is trying to get items for her kid. Uh, a lot of stuff in here, though, is actually kind of cheap, to my surprise. I'm also a student myself. I'm in nursing school. There's a lot of 99, 99 cent and colored pencils and things like that. And she tells me she's saving more this year than last year. For the most part, it's not as bad as it used to be. That falls in line with the survey from the National Retail Federation. They report on average households will spend $875 in back to school shopping. That's $15 less than last year. Wallet Hub surveyed parents and 86% say the cost of education is out of control. Parents weren't the only ones shopping Thursday. I got um, four pencil sharpeners. Incoming fifth grader Noah Yitzbarik was getting some last minute items. I only need like one, but I'm gonna give some of these to my friends. But he gripes at the price of a notebook. Why are the, the pencil sharpeners more um, expensive than the notebooks? With the rise of schools using Chromebooks, parents say that has been a blessing in saving money on certain supplies. Reporting at the Walmart between Spring Mountain and Rainbow, Joshua Pagero, 8 News Now. Solid question there about the pencil sharpeners. In the survey from the National Retail Federation, 57% of consumers said they plan to do their back to school shopping online. Half of consumers also said they plan to go to a department store.